Dear Papa, things ain't so bad out here anymore. I made a few friends. I'm looking to join a sorority. All the girls are so beautiful and smart. I just feel like a complete swamp rat around them. But they seem to like me okay. Tomorrow night is final initiation. So the next letter you get from me will be from an official tri-fi. I'm so excited. Oh, Papa, thank you so much for letting me come to school out here. I'll see you at Christmas. All my love, Kyra. Is something funny? Is this all just a big joke? Because if that's all it is to you, you all can just leave now. It's not funny at all. I don't think these people realize the true gravity of their situation. If only they knew they were about to die, I think there would be a little bit more to their mood. Don't you think, Tina? I know that when I was in their place, I had a little more respect for the tri-fi observances. Maybe we shouldn't even let them in. Oh, no, no, that's not it at all. We were just- Silence! No one is to talk unless being spoken to directly. Is that understood? Now, as Akiko was just saying, you are all about to die. You are all about to die to mediocrity. You are about to leave the mundane world and enter a sisterhood whose bond has been forged in sweat and tears. And yes, in blood. If any of you are unwilling to accept the price, then leave now before the rite begins. Good. Perhaps you are worthy after all. You must understand that the bonds you are about to make will last an entire lifetime and be stronger than those you've ever known or ever known before. Is this a sacrifice you are all willing to make? Yes. yes. I can't hear you. Yes. Yes, yes what? Yes, sister. All sacrifices need blood. Who among us is willing to sacrifice herself or her sisters? What about you? You seem so eager to have your voice heard. I will, sister. A willing sacrifice, all the better. I hope the rest of you do not fail in her trust. We, we won't, sister. sister. Prepare the sacrifice. You asked for this when you questioned me. The sacrifice must be made. Akiko? Yes, sister. <laughs> Wait a minute. Oh, careful sacrifice. We wouldn't want you getting cut. Her heart must be revealed to be pure. Brit, please, this has gone far enough. Untie me. I don't want to do this anymore. I, I, I don't want to join. It's a little too late for second thoughts. The sacrifice is prepared. Tina? Brit, don't do this. Do you want to be next? Remember, you are all here with us till dawn when the other girls return for us. I can make this a very long night. Please let me go. I just want to go home. I want to see my papa again. I'm a good girl. Silence the sacrifice. <laughs> Shit. God, I think she chipped my nail. Enough. Let's just get this over with. Now repeat after me. My life is worth less than that of my sisters. Say it or else. Now repeat after me. I swear that my life is worth less than that of my sisters. I swear, I swear that, that my life is worth less than that of my own sisters. sisters. Now, Tina, do it. I'm sorry. <laughs> Welcome to Tri 
outside, ladies. <laughs> Kayla, she fainted. God, what a wuss. Are you sure that's all? You saw the knife, didn't you? Tina, toss me the knife. Wake up, Kayla. Wake up. Oh my God. Kayla. Akiko, take the new girls to the reception area. Cake and everything should be laid out. Sabine, why don't you go on too? Tina and I will make sure she's okay. She's gonna be all right, isn't she? Of course she is. Don't worry about her. In fact, don't worry about anything at all. You, you all are tri buys now. Yes. A whole new world of opportunities has just opened up for you. You know, I didn't even like that girl anyway. Why would you say that? What did she ever do to you? Sabine, get over it. I just hope she's all right. That's my friend. Nothing. I think she's dead. Oh my god. Are you serious? Jesus Christ, this can't be happening. Look, calm down. This is bad, but it's not as bad as all that. Not as bad as all that? I really don't see how it could get any worse. We can just take her up to the grounds and bury her somewhere. God knows there's nothing out here. Jesus Christ, listen to yourself. You're not thinking straight. No, Tina. You listen to me. If this gets out, the sorority could be ruined. I'm sorry, but fuck the sorority. Fine then. Think of yourself. We're supposed to be in charge out here. How do you think it's gonna look for us? What do you have in mind? Oh my god. She's up and she's yelling at us. Don't you hear her? She's really pissed off. What are you gonna do with her? Akiko, okay, just go back out there and tell the other girls that she's okay and she just has no sense of humor about the whole thing. The other girl saw the blood in her nose! So then, tell her that she hit her head or something. Britt, are you sure? Yes. Tina and I will take care of it. Grab her legs. Okay, but I really think this is a bad idea. Do you have a better one? So then take her fucking legs and let's get this over with! I wonder if she's alright. I hope so. I barely even know her name. She was always so quiet when we were pledging. Kayla. Her name's Kayla. I've known her for a month or so. She's pretty shy but really, really nice. I remember she said she's never seen so many people before in her life. Because? <laughs> Anyway, I just hope she's alright. Oh, I'm sure she is. Britt knows what she's doing. has no sense of humor. She fainted and then when she woke up she told us all to F ourselves. No way. So are you guys still letting her join? I don't think she's interested anymore. She just left and she took off and said she never wanted to see us again. Oh, maybe when she gets over it. <sighs> Whatever. Anyway, that was just way too much drama for me. Well, let's get back to what's really important. Celebrating our new sisters. Yay. Oh my god. <laughs> Thank you.
<sighs> what do you mean, need a plan? I thought you had a plan. Just give me a second and let me think. Let's see if we can find a shovel or something to bury her in here with. Even better, let's just throw in here and we can bury her later. Shouldn't we call an ambulance? And tell them what? We had a make-believe satanic ritual and we accidentally killed our sacrifice? No, but we should do something. Do you want to go to jail? Because we will. No, it's just... Don't you think somebody's gonna miss her? We'll worry about that later. Now just help me. Are you trying to tell me that this girl just walked all the way back to Louisiana? I don't know where she walked off to. She left. She turned her back on her sisters, and I don't really care where she went after that. This is a missing person. Her family is worried sick about her. I don't see why they would be. She's probably with them right now, trying to cause me problems. She's just pissed because we had a little joke at her own expense. Why don't you let me in on this little joke? Why would I do that, Sheriff? I've already told it to you twice. You're probably as sick of hearing it as I am of telling it. Oh yeah, I'm sick. I'm sick of it. I'm sick of you. I'm sick of your lies. Why don't you just surprise me by telling me the truth just once? Look, I have told you the same thing already twice. Let me tell you something. I'll be watching you. All of you. I feel much safer with that knowledge. Don't worry, we're almost there. I found this killer old building out here. It'll be a great background for some pictures. Do you really think I can make it as a model? Absolutely. You just need a good portfolio. And luckily, I'm the guy to do it. I used to take pictures in Hollywood, you know. Yeah, I know, you said before. Is that you? What? I thought I heard something out there. I didn't see anything. I mean, hear anything. I'm just getting set up. Wow. I, uh, I don't really like the lighting out here. So let's just stay over here and take the pictures, okay? Sure. Whatever you think's best. All right, let me see a sexy smile, huh? There you go. Move around. Show me some skin. Come on. 
Let me see some skin. Hey, um, not really crazy about the light here either. Maybe we should, uh, head inside there. Let's take some over by the train. Sure. Whatever makes you happy. You're the talent. Skin. I want skin, all right? And a sexy smile. Perk up. How about you drop the top? That'd be a real sexy picture. That'd definitely be the money shot we need to get you some representation. I told you. I just want some generic pictures for a portfolio. Whatever. I want you to be comfortable, but I also want you to actually use some of these pictures to get an agent. Generic won't cut it. And I'll be honest with you. There are a million girls that look like you do in clothes. It's what's underneath them that makes all the difference to these people. But hey, you're the boss. I'm just the professional photographer. You know, this isn't working out. I'm really getting this strange negative vibe from you, and the camera's gonna pick up on it. Why don't you just change out of those clothes and let's head back into town? I'm sorry, it's just that I'm- No, seriously, don't worry about it. There has to be a chemistry between the photographer and his subject. And you don't have it. I'll just pack up while you change. Fucking oh, Jesus! Oh, just get the hell out of here, you perver! Take oh, it off. Can Take you get off. the fuck out? Auto photo. I definitely want some shots of this. Oh my god, get your fuck off, don't for you! Get your fucking hands off of me! Get the fuck out of here! Sorry, Kayla. I should have been a better friend. I should have said something. Are you sure you want to do this again after last year? Of course I do. Not only is it tradition, but it'll look bad if we don't. Come on, Tina, the hard stuff's over with. The police have finally quit coming around, and that girl's crazy father has quit calling. I really feel like we're at a place where we can move on. Come on, sisters, let's get moving. The weekend will be here before you know it. Man, I don't know about you, but I am ready for this week to be over. What do you got going on this weekend? Oh, not much, really. This week has just sucked. I mean, I had two two tests that I barely passed. Hey, you're going to uh, meet up with that, that girl? Akiko? Nah, she's got that rush thing with a sorority this weekend. Ooh. Really? I would not mind seeing that. <laughs> yeah, you and me both. 
What do you think they do? I don't know. Probably uh, dress up in nightgowns and give each other spankings and then sing stupid songs and give hugs or something like oh. that. I don't know. I would enjoy joining in that. Even the singing part. I don't care. Yeah, I asked if they needed some security or something. What'd she say? Let's just say that the wounds are still healing. Ouch. I know, man. I figured it was best just to drop it. We have to watch. We will broadcast on the internet. That would be awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it'll give hope to those of us, unlike you, who haven't got a chance to try a fire. <laughs> and maybe people like me who may never get a chance. Yeah, I, uh, I highly recommend trying a fire. Or two. At a time, of course. All right, now you're just talking out your <laughs> ass. If, uh... Okay, getting back to the webcast thing. What do they do this at their house? What, are you serious? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It'd be great. I don't know, we'll get, you know, we'll get the girls, we'll get it on the internet. Oh, it'll be good, man. Man, you're sad. Real charity case. But come on, well, what do you think? All right, all right. You know, just, just don't get too close to me. I don't want your desperation to rub off on me. Oh, fuck <laughs> you, man. Talk to you later, man. Oh, yeah, A5. You see Sabine putting a good word? You got it, man. All right, man. So excited. This is going to be awesome. <laughs> yeah, it is. This is totally the best house, even with what they say happened here last year. Hey, it's fine by me, you know. That just means that there are more opportunities for us to shine. Oh, yeah, I know. You know, my sister tried to get in here a few years ago. And she didn't even get to rush. Really? Yeah, and I told her that I was in for sure after this weekend, and she got so jealous. <laughs> <laughs> there is this congresswoman who's a tri fi. I'm hoping that by being a sister, maybe I can work in her office. Wow, mm -hmm. really? Mm hmm. You've all done a fabulous job making it this far. Out of all the candidates, you have proven that you have the style and spirit to become a tri-fi. We keep the tri-fi small to make sure that we are the best. But all that's left is for you to prove your dedication to the sisterhood. But don't think that the hard part's over because it isn't. You are all about to be party to a tradition that has been going on since the beginning of the Phi 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 sorority. You're about to be party to our secrets and rituals. But if any of you feel that you won't be able to keep these secrets, then you should really consider before you come. Because the price of betraying these secrets is dire. Sabine is passing out the required contracts. These are contracts of secrecy and a list of what you are and are not allowed to bring and a personal liability waiver. Anyone who doesn't fill out these will not be able to attend. Yeah. I don't know if I feel comfortable signing the personal injury waiver. It's just that, you know, I can't help but think of all the hazing rituals you see on the news. That's a fair enough point. But look, we've been doing this for a hundred years. I have went through this, Britt's gone through this, Sabine just went through this last year. Each and every picture of the sisters you see on the walls have all gone through this. It's just the university makes us sign these whenever we go off campus. But if you still don't feel comfortable, then don't sign it. Just go back to your dorm and enjoy the rest of your mediocre and boring life. No, of course not. It's just that, you know, I felt like I had to say something. Of course you did, Victoria. That's because you're a leader. And we appreciate that. That's why you're still here. Tina, are you ready to go? Yeah, just a sec. When you're done filling out the forms, give them to Sabine and then go home and pack. Christ, I thought we were done with Deputy Dumbass. Let me do all the talking. Be my guest. Why, hello, Sheriff. What brings you out from behind the donut shop? Oh, I was just glancing at my social calendar, and I realized, hey, it's rush week at the old college. So I thought I would uh, just pay you girls a social call. I don't know if anyone's told you. We're a sorority, and that means girls only. Sorry. Don't be a smart ass. You know goddamn well why I'm here. You see, I don't believe that that girl just up and walked away. Not for an instant, baby. Oh, please. Now get away from my car. We have somewhere to be. Oh, well, maybe I should go along with you. I mean, 
That is, if you don't mind. Sure, why not? Maybe you can help with our bikini waxes. I bet you like your girl smooth. Or maybe you can get your back done while you're there. I know what you're doing. I know where you'll be tomorrow night. And just maybe I'll be there too. To bust your ass. Don't you think we should at least find a different place this year? Why should we change? Are you serious? Absolutely. We've done our hazing out here for a long time, and just because we had a little bad luck last year... Bad luck? You can't be serious. In case you forgot, someone died last time. Someone who had a bad heart. It's not our fault, is it? She didn't list that on our application for the sorority. I can't be expected to know everything. Jesus Christ, Britt, listen to yourself. No, Tina, you listen to me. I'm sorry that girl died. I really am. It's been a huge inconvenience and a real pain in the ass. What are you... S no, you let me finish. I have my whole life in front of me. I'm not going to waste it thinking about something I can't change. That white trash cunt has done enough to ruin our reputation. We have three. Three new candidates worth a shit this year. I have lost enough sleep trying to keep this out of the newspapers and us out of jail. Thank God Daddy's a newspaper man. You shouldn't speak ill of the dead. Well, she should have been too weak to live. Maybe if we would have called an ambulance or something instead- Just drop it, okay? I did what I had to do to save myself. To save all of us. What the hell? and I don't want... I'm just responsible. Whatever you say. It looks clear. Let's just go now. No, I... Fuck. What? Hey, Brent, this is Akiko. Yeah, you need to get back here as soon as possible. Why? What's wrong? Uh, Sonia got pulled over driving back from a party. And she's in jail for DUI. Haha, <laughs> very funny. Look, I'm a little too busy for practical jokes right now. Look, I'm being serious. She's supposed to drive the van tomorrow night. Just let me think. Okay, we're heading back right now. Akiko, just take care of the van and we'll be back there as soon as we can. All right, sure. I'll see you in a little bit. We have to go. What's up? What's happening? I'll take you in the car. I'm really gonna miss you this weekend. Yeah, me too. I just wish that there was some way I could help out or something. <sighs> That's sweet of you to say. I mean, I want to see you too, but it's really not allowed. <sighs> I don't know. This whole thing has just gotten way out of control. What do you mean? Just that it's supposed to be fun, you know? Well, tell them you can't go. <laughs> yeah, that wouldn't go over very well. Brett would totally flip out. Fuck her. <laughs> Don't be so crude. You know how I can't stand that language. I know, sorry. It's just a big deal, so what? There's plenty of other girls that can help out. I mean, this is your senior year. You're not supposed to be stressed out. I know, I mean, it is my last year, but I gotta go, I have to do it. I know, sorry. I don't mean to upset you about this. Well, don't worry, it's not your fault. It's just stressful, you know? Well, if there's anything I can do to help out, just let me know. Okay. Thank you. Hello? Hello, Brittany, dear. Oh, hi, Mom. I didn't disturb you, did I? No, you didn't interrupt anything. What's up? 
Well, I was just looking at the calendar and I realized what time of year it was. Oh yeah, it's almost time for initiation. Did you know I was the one that found that old building? Yes, I know. And you've ruined it for every future Tri-Fi. No, I haven't. Yes, you have. You almost did last year. You're very lucky. We're very well respected in this community. It wasn't my fault. Oh, of course it wasn't. After all, you weren't in charge, were you? Oh, wait. That's right, you were. And it was a total disaster. I assume you're in charge again this year? I was thinking we should just call Judge Danworth again. Nothing like that will happen again. It already did once, didn't it? The police nosing around in an investigation. If the sisterhood ever lives down this shame, it will be a testament to everyone but you. It pains me to see the direction you've taken my beloved tri in. <sighs> it's one of the first tri at that university. I helped establish a, a tradition of excellence and leadership. I had hoped maybe you would do the same. Yes, I know you are a founding member of the sorority. You've never let me forget it. What's that supposed to mean? Did I raise you to live in my shadow? Is that what you tell your friends? They must all think I'm some kind of horrible person. No, nobody thinks that at all. I'm just worried something bad will happen again. And if it does, I won't be able to show my face in public. No. I'll make you proud of me, I promise. Oh. You haven't yet. I'm not getting my hopes up now. No, I swear. Nothing like that will happen again. You'll see. Don't mess this up like you have everything else. I won't. Don't worry. I'll take care of it. You better. If you don't, don't. well, I just don't want to think about it. Fine. Give my love to Dad. Goodbye. <sighs> Do you still want to help out this weekend? Hmm. Yeah, just name it. Well, would you mind driving the van? Because we're not allowed to take our own cars. Yeah, no problem. Uh, where do I need to take you guys? Well, that's a catch. I can't actually tell you where we're going. So, what am I supposed to drive with, like, a blindfold on or something? <laughs> no, I'm going to be in the van with the girls, and then I'll direct you where to go from there. Cool. So, then I'll get to hang out. What, what kind of stuff should I bring? Oh, God, no. You have to drive back and then come back and pick us up in the morning. I mean, part of the thing is, is that we're out there alone in the world with only the tri fis to back you up. Kind of a sisterhood thing. Uh, yeah, sure. I'll make it well worth your while. Well worth, eh? I can definitely think of a few things I've been wanting to try. Yeah, don't push it. <laughs> Ladies, Hi. are you excited for the big day? Yup. Yeah, totally. Good. I see you have your overnight bags. This is Lance. Hello. He's gonna be our chauffeur. Before you get any ideas, don't. It's Kiko's boy toy. Ooh. <laughs> He's gonna take uh, the bags to the van while we get changed. I'm gonna have to collect your cell phones now. I'm sure you noticed they were number one on the list of things not to bring. Don't worry, I'll take good care of them. And I promise not to copy your boyfriend's numbers out of them either. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Seriously, don't worry. Tina will have her cell phone just in case. Okay. So try these on and let's get ready to become a tri fi. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Does this robe make me look fat? Oh, no, just dumb. Don't let Britt hear you say that. Her mom designed these like way back in the days. They've been around since pretty much the beginning of tri fis. Mm. But if you ask me, they definitely look better on the rack. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's get changed and get going. Okay. okay. Follow Sabine. You ready? Okay, single file line. Follow me. Hey, so thanks again for taking us out here, babe. No problem, babe. 
Yeah. You sure you don't need me to stay out here and uh, keep an eye on you guys? No, it should be cool. Tina yeah. and Ben already checked it out, so it should be fine. Okay. Well, if you change your mind, you can give me a call. You still have your phone, right? No, it's not allowed. Not even for us. Well, Tina has hers, but strictly for her emergencies. Besides, it's only one night. And we've been doing this out here for so long, it's practically science at this point. Okay. Well, I guess I'll see y'all tomorrow about noon then. I can't believe that there's so few of them this year. It all... What are you saying? I don't know. It, it just almost doesn't even seem worth it. The tri fis have had hard times before. We'll bounce back. There isn't going to be a we. This is my last year and I'm done. Don't bother sending me a reunion card. Excuse me? You heard me, Britt. The only reason I'm here is because... Because of what? Because sometimes you scare me. <sighs> How do I scare you? I only want the best. For me, for us, for all the tri fis you can get so focused on one thing that you forget about the rest of the world. You don't give a damn about anybody or anything except for Brit. What? You know why that lie we told about that girl worked? It's because everybody who knows you could believe that somebody would want to disappear just to get away from you. I'm going to pretend that I didn't hear that. Well, hear this. You know why we have so few girls this year? It's because of the rumors. No, it's because nobody can stand to be in the same room with you. Look. You're uncomfortable being here. I understand that. So if you keep your mouth shut and don't say another word, I'm going to pretend that I didn't hear anything that you just said to me. OK, ladies, you can start stripping down. Make sure you put your collars down. Okay, you ready? Yes. Let's join hands. Follow me. Lance. Hey man, it's me. What's going on, man? So, uh... What you up to tonight? Uh, well, before or after my date with the supermodel. Man, what do you think I'm up to? You're probably downloading porn off the internet. Anyways. Grab a jacket. It's gonna be a late night for us. Why? Right, what's going on? Guess who I just dropped off in the middle of nowhere? Hot chicks. Nightgowns. Panties? No panties? Yeah, yeah. Something like that. Sweet, then. Come by and pick me up. All right, well, I'm about a half hour outside of town, so I'll see you what? I don't know, about 8.30? Dude, I'm ready now! All right, man, talk to you then. So remember, ladies, the first and most important trait of being a tri fi is her loyalty. What? I thought I heard something. I didn't hear anything. Me neither. Don't be so jumpy. You're really starting to annoy me. We should be getting down there anyways. The pledges should be there by now. God forbid I should annoy you. Jesus Christ. I cannot rely on you girls to do anything. 
Sabine, make sure this room is ready for the party. I've already done most of the work, so it shouldn't be too difficult for you. Sure, but no problem. Man, you look like a complete idiot in that Mission Impossible outfit. Hey, you told me it was a stealth mission, so I dressed accordingly. Yeah, well, I'm just kind of worried you had those clothes in your closet. Hey, at least I'm prepared for when the UN Special Forces attack. Hey! And you wonder why people beat you up in high school. Hey, bite me, man. The overnight bag. Planning on some kind of sleepover? I comes prepared, I tell yous. Arrgh! What is that, supposed to be some kind of pirate voice? No. Okay, let's see what I got. I have a toolkit to improvise any and many people. I have, of course, a camera to commemorate this moment. Which? Oh yes, and of course, finally, the blanket, just in case I get to try a five. And what's up with these flares? You so you can uh, call your buddies just in case you get caught on a bra strap? Uh, these are just, well, this is my emergency car kit, so I forgot to take them out. All this stuff was already in here. Minus my camera. Oh, of, of course. Of course. Yeah. Well, let's just see if Miss Summers is willing to play nice. Hi, five sorority house. Uh, yeah, this is Sheriff Kennedy. May I speak to Miss Summers, please? If anyone calls, we will be back on Monday. If Deputy Dumbass calls, Britt is taking a long bath. If he asks for Tina or Akiko, they are too. If he presses the issue, tell him that we are all taking it together. Sheriff, she just got into the bathtub. Oh, is she? Huh. <laughs> She certainly takes a lot of baths. Well, personal hygiene is important to the tri -fis. Well, I'm sure it is. Would you be so kind as to tell her I phoned? Sure thing. Yeah, thanks. I'm going out on a hunch. If you want to reach me, you know how. Okay, we're going to need to walk the rest of the way. I just don't want him to hear the van, and it's only about another mile or so. Oh yeah, there's uh, another necessity in the glove box I saw you didn't have in your bag of tricks. <laughs> See? This is exactly what I'm talking about when I say I can't rely on any of you girls. What? She can't even light the candles? What the hell? Where is Akiko? I don't know what she's trying to do, but I swear I will tear her a new one. We've got to get out of here. What is it? What's going on? Nothing. Nothing at all. This is just part of the initiation. We're just trying to gauge your nerve. Fuck this! This is just Akiko messing with us. She hasn't been the same since last year. She's just trying to prove a point. You can believe what you want, but I'm getting the fuck out of here. I can't believe you.
don't do this. There's only one more challenge that you girls must pass before being admitted into our society. You've all shown great discipline and obedience, despite our best efforts to scare you off. I told Akiko that the blood she threw on you didn't look real enough. You know, Britt, I think it looks pretty good. Oh yeah, I totally thought it was real at first. I actually thought it seemed a little bit too watery. Oh yeah, totally. You three girls are very special to us, to me. This is my last year, and I'm looking for someone to replace me. And I think that one of you girls may be the one. about? Is Akiko still in there? Kiko! Oh good! Please don't leave me here! Okay, it's okay. I'm not going anywhere. I won't. Where's Lance? Who are you? I'm Greg. I'm a friend of Lance's. What? What are you doing out here? I don't think it matters right now. You have to get out of here somehow. Where's your car? Yeah, we parked about a mile up the road. Uh, let's get but... the fuck out of here! I don't have the keys. What? What do you mean? I didn't drive. Lance did. Lance has the keys. Now where is he? He's inside. Okay, well then we'll just sit here and wait for him. No, 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 no. He's not going to be coming out anytime soon. That, that thing got him. I told you! I told you he wasn't gonna come back out! Shut up, Tina! Just, where's your cell phone? She's gonna kill all of us! This is her payback! She's gonna get us all! Tina! Tina! We're gonna get through this! Now where is your cell phone? It's in my purse. In there, and it can stay there! We, we have to go inside and we have to get it. No way, no fucking way! Get out! 
Well, maybe it's trapped inside, like some kind of revenant haunting of- What? You have no idea what's going on! Why don't you enlighten me? Maybe, maybe he's right. You know, maybe she's trapped in there. Maybe she's some kind of ghost. She seemed pretty solid enough to me. What? Who cares? If it's a zombie or a ghost or whatever! There's no way I'm going back in there! What is she talking about? Nothing! She's hysterical! What about you, hero? Just... Come with me. Where? Where are we going? The, the shack over there. We can go in there. I just I just need you two to watch and make sure that thing doesn't come following out after us, okay? You'll know all right. Come on. We'll do what you say for now. What do you think he needed that for? Think about it. He's wearing black, has a screwdriver, and a camera. <laughs> Oh my god, what did he think that we're all going to be making out? Nice. So, we have a monster inside and our knight in shining armor is a perp. Ew, this guy's kind of gross. <laughs> what? The box isn't even open. Oh my god, what? Let's get back to the others. What is going on? <sighs> anything? They were all dead. What? What is she talking about, Britt? There was just two bodies, and I think one of them might have been Michelle. <gasps> it's okay. I have a plan. Yeah, I've heard that one before. In fact, it was your brilliant plan that got us in this mess in the first place. What are you talking about? Nothing. What, what is she talking about? Nothing at all. She's just scared like we all are. It's just that some of us handle it a little bit better than others. What's that supposed to mean? What did you say that for? Look, We'll figure things out later. Right now, we need to find a way to get out of here, okay? And she's right. She's right. She, we need to find Lance. He has the keys. Or, um, we, we just need a cell phone, and we can just hide somewhere and then call for help. Okay, look! There is only one of her, and there's all of us. That still leaves room for some of us to get out. You're already writing one of us off? No! That's not how it is at all! Look, I'm trying to think of it logically, okay? It could just as easily be me. So there's like a 25% chance of one of us running into her. We think you're math, Einstein. It's 100% you get at least one of us. Do you have a better plan? Let's just split up into pairs. That way we can watch each other's backs. Fine, Sabine, you come with me, Tina. You go off with him. No, I'm not going with the perv. What? Fine, I'll take him. Let's just get moving. I'm not a perv. Don't worry about it. So, when someone finds either the keys or the cell phone, they'll let the other group know, right? I mean, they're both in the welcoming room. Yeah, well, they'll just wait for the other group to come in there. Fuck that! Fine, then the other one will just start yelling, okay? How will we know why they're yelling? Fair enough. This is all your fault, you know. I know. I hate you. I hate you too. So your name's Sabine? Yeah. And how long have you been a uh, tri -fi? A year. This is like an annual... Look, I don't want to talk about it right now, okay? Let's just concentrate on what's going on around us, okay? No, you're, no, you're right. I just thought it'd be a good idea to get to know you. Jesus! Are you hitting on me now? No, 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 I'm not. I'm not hitting on you. I... <gasps> I, you know, forget it, alright, I'm sorry. I'm not a bad guy. Yeah, what's with the camera then? I, we, I thought it'd be a good idea at the time, but however, in retrospect, it may not have been. Look, forget I asked, okay? It, make, it makes perfect sense now. You're not around girls that often, are you? It's that obvious, huh? Yeah. Come on, let's go. Come on, Tina, pull it together. We can do this. We're tri -fis.
I need you. If she's still up there, I need you to distract her while I get the keys. Distract her? Why can't you distract her? Fine, then I'll be the distraction. You just come on up here, okay? I can't do this on my own. I'll open the door for you and you can go in. Fine. Just keep the door open. I'm going to be in and out fast. One, two, three. I think this door leads to the back stairs. It was damaged very badly not five years ago, so watch your step, okay? Fuck. I think it's caught on something. Here, help me push it. I don't hear anything, do you? No. Just my heart pounding in my ears. I don't think we can get through here. I think you're right. We'll have to find another way. Guess yes. you'll be sleeping. Would you think any less of me if I told you I was scared shitless? I don't know that I can think any less of you than I already do. <laughs> Just trying to lighten the moment. You know, I, I'm, I'm not the hero type. If, if Lance was here He's instead... not. You're all the hero I have, and you're doing all right so far. Look. Is that what I think it is? I think so. Oh God, I, I don't want to do this. I can't do this. I, I just want to go. I want to go. We'll get there. Let's, let's see who it is. Together, Greg. Those are my friends too. But we need to focus on what's important. And what's important is staying alive. We need to get the keys from Lance's pocket. Yeah, I don't see any cars here. I guess my hunch didn't pay off after all. Maybe that girl isn't as pig headed as I thought she was. No, no. I'm gonna get some lunch, grab something to eat, I guess. Look for me in like an hour, an hour and a half, all right?
thousand times over in my head. When you die, there's no white light. Did you know that? No, heaven full of angels singing. Not even devils with pitfalls. No, Margaret. It's the last thing you see. The last thing you hear. Touch anything. We have to move her. Grab her legs. <laughs> Victoria? <laughs> Victoria, can you hear me? This is Sabine. Help me. We have to get under you. We have to get the keys to the van. Okay? We're gonna move you. I don't think I can move. I'm too weak. Greg down here? He's gonna help us. Okay. On the count of three. One, two, three. <sighs> Greg, get the keys. Greg, Greg. <sighs> you hurt pretty bad. I'm gonna try and stop the bleeding, okay? Greg, I need you. Snap out of it! What do you need? I need you to press this here. Is that too tight? Can you breathe? It hurts so bad. Please don't let me die. Just rest for a second. She's hurt pretty bad, but we have to move her. If we don't, she could... Can she even walk? We can both support enough to get her outside. The van is a mile away. There's no way we can get her there. No way. Not without slowing us down. As you're so quick to point out, you're not very athletic. I'll just run, and I'll get the van. You can stay with her. Okay, okay, let's just get the fuck out of here. <laughs> 